Tara with JT News. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe right now and make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let's get right into it. 50 Cent doesn't it? He makes up with Ebro. He goes back on Hot 97. Of course, he's going to go make up with him. He has one of the top morning shows in New York. There's only two, Breakfast Club and Ebro, okay? So he goes up there and he talks about pretty much everything and ruffles some feathers. Uh, he talks about, uh, well, first and foremost, he talks about power in the intro and, you know, he says, okay, I took an L. Uh, I had to change things up there. The interesting things he gets in about is uh, he reacts to Takashi. He says, you know, a lot of people will look. He kind of he keeps it real. He says, those were a lot of my guys that were around him that I knew. Like, you know, my, and they brought him around me. Uh, how do I feel about it? Well, you know, a lot of this is he said, this is how the public will look at it. When he gets out, they're going to look at it like, well, you know, they're going to make excuses for him. That's just the environment we live in now. Just like. He said, Ghost is a is a sucker on power because he, he'll call the cops on somebody because he wants to get out of that lifestyle, but people forgive it, you know, because they look at it like this with Takashi, they're going to say, oh, you know, they were trying to, they were sleeping with his baby mother, uh, they uh, were threatening him, they, you know, they were doing this, they were taking money from him, he had to snitch. Okay, so then, and he even commented this on the other day, he put up the word snitch, and he said, sorry, N-word. I'm trying to come home, <laughs> an acronym for the word snitch. Uh, he says that Takashi could come home and drop music and people won't even care. And he's right. It's, it's the sad fact of the state we live in now. There's no morals or principles anymore. Okay. Then he talks about Jay-Z doing a deal with Rock Nation. He said, Hey, there's nothing wrong with that deal. Da, 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 da. And he gets it. He takes, he was asked about the game. And they said, would you ever do a record with the game anymore? Like, and he said, well, I'm not, I haven't done a record in forever, so I don't see the benefit in doing that, but I have no problem with them. And then they asked about, would you ever make up with Rick Ross? He says, I have no business. I would do a Rick Ross. I'll, I'll make up with anybody for business. It's about business, but I see no business with him. And if I were looking for him, I would have got him by now. <laughs> now getting into the game thing. First of all, he, him and Ebro address their issues. Ebro stands firm that he ruined New York hip hop, but he said, you're the program director. You weren't adding people on. Yeah, I might've started some turmoil in New York, but Ebro, you weren't playing the new ones. He said, you ain't even playing Pop Smoke, the, the welcome to the party. <laughs> and he said, Ebro doesn't even know who he is. Um, but yeah, him and Ebro made up, but you know, in the, he dressed, calling Ebro a cop. He said, you'd be telling on the low, uh, just pointing the finger at people, just the way you word things. <laughs> so they had a laugh about it. It's kind of funny how they did it, but I have a question for you. And then he also come in at a young buck. He's like, you know, we live in a new time, you know, young buck. He, he, uh, he likes guys now that's fine. You know, but, uh, you know, I haven't spoken to young buck. That's what he says. And then. He also addresses the fact that uh, there's going to be a power season, you know, like power book two. I don't think power is going to make it there. I think power is dwindling. Uh, the writing's pretty bad on it now and it's going to wrap up and that's it. I think we're going to move on. I don't, it's not like, I don't think it's going to leave us wanting for more. I'm going to be honest with you. That's how I feel about it. I'm going to continue it, but the writing and the consistency is off. Um, Here's a question for you guys. If Lloyd Banks and Tony Ayo, well, not, let's say Lloyd Banks and Young Buck, if they took the rap that the game took and left G Unit and went against 50, would they have the same career that the game had? I saw that question on a message board on Boxing earlier, and it made me think. I say no because the game had the West Coast behind them. In New York around that time, I don't think. Tony Yeo, Lloyd Banks, or Young Buck could have really survived that. We saw Young Buck do it, and it didn't work. He he was making less money. He didn't take off. The game had a certain ambition in him, and it worked. You know, like, it's not going to work for everybody. Uh, I don't know. But uh, we'll have to see, you know, what happens with 50 Cent. Uh, and also, I got to say... Where's this BMF series we've been talking about? He's talking about Power Book 2. 
But what about the BMF series that he's had for three, teasing us for three years about? That's what we all want to see. That's the super hit show right there, I think. Redoing, like, we got the Wu-Tang show on Hulu now. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. But I want, really want to see a BMF series. I mean, that really happened, you know? It's almost like Narcos. That happened. I want to see the BMF series. We all do. Where is it? Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you stay tuned, and I will check you guys on the next one.